in the middleweight division at UFC 294. You got Nazaruddin Amavov coming in at 12 and 4, taking on Ikram Aliskarov, who comes in at 14 and 1. And this is a toss up fight. I mean, this fight can go either way. Amavov, three inches taller, is 6'3. He's 28. Aliskarov is 30. Aliskarov has a one inch reach advantage, 76 to 75. He fights left handed. Amavov fights. Right handed in terms of activity that goes to a list grab, he's at like 6.3 significant strikes per minute to about four and a half uh, per minute for a Mavov. So there's going to be a speed and activity uh, difference there for a list grab. He also lands more takedowns, well over three per three rounds, or in other words, one per round. Now, a Mavov will get a takedown like once uh, every three rounds. So a Mavov is at a disadvantage in the numbers. How much does that mean? He's got a 72% takedown defense. That'll help a little bit, but not enough. Uh, he's coming off the no contest to Chris Curtis. He lost to Sean Strickland, who's currently the champion, right? For that, he beat Yaquin Buckley by decision. Uh, Edmund Shabazian, who seems to be reeling uh, by KO. Ian Heinish by KO. Uh, before that, he lost to Phil Hawes and beat Jordan Williams. Now, this girl is coming in with a lot of hype in this fight. Uh, no takedown defense to, uh, recorded just yet uh, because he's only had two fights. Now, you just heard that a Mavov lost to Phil Hawes. Well, not a Liskarov. He KO'd him. And he subbed Mario Souza at Dana White's contender series. So I think what's making this fight 50 50 is the fact that Ikram Aliskarov doesn't have a lot of experience in the UFC. A Mavov's like six, seven, eight, nine fights in. So that's where. You get the 50-50 thing, but look, Aliskarov has looked good uh, in his first two fights. He looked good against Phil Hawes. Yeah, he doesn't have as much experience, but I th still think Aliskarov is going to win this fight. Don't know if he'll dominate, but he's going to win. He's just way more active. He can land takedowns. He's got better takedown defense. He's just better across the board, and he's won 14 of 15 fights. Who did he lose to? That's the key, right? But the bottom line is, uh, in my opinion, he's going to win this fight both on the feet and on the ground. The big question to me is, will he get the finish? But either way, he's going to move to 15-1, in my opinion, over Nazaruddin Mavov, middleweight division, UFC 294.